afternoon, everyone. I'll start by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land we're gathered on, the Gadigal of the Eora Nation, and pay my respects to their past and present, all the elders. This land always has been and always will be Aboriginal land. So thank you so much for coming out yet again to stand up against yet another bungle in this monstrous motorway that is the West Connects, and whose tentacles seem never-ending. They're going east, west, north, south, ever-increasing. Today is World Earth Day, and I've just come from the Science March in Sydney. And it is, I must say, it is really inspiring to see thousands of scientists across the world today, not just lamenting politicians and governments for putting aside all the evidence that we need in making decisions to address the really major, the really wicked problems that face us, but also actually calling them to reconsider how they make their decisions. And we all know, yeah, that, that really does deserve a clap. I think it's a major thing that scientists have come out on the street making this demand of their politicians and governments. We all know that West Connects completely flies in the face of every single piece of evidence that there is. Yeah. You know, scientists yeah. have told us this, engineers have told us this, environmentalists have told us this. Yeah. So this is a toll road that basically is consuming people's homes, it's consuming our public parks, it's consuming thousands of trees, and it's consuming billions of dollars of our public money. Yeah. Absolute shame, it is an absolute shame. And we know that this area, I know this area so well, I used to live there, just in that apartment building for years, that's where my two children grew up. We know that this area is already becoming gridlocked, and no amount of road widening, no amount of making more lanes is going to accommodate the 60,000 cars that are going to be spat out by the West Connex tunnels right here. It's not going to happen. It is actually, this road is actually taking a toll on people's finances, people's health, people's safety, and on people's personal lives. And that's why it needs to stop. Here. Yes. yes. actually being choked by toll road after toll road. You know there are 16 toll roads in Australia and eight of those are in Sydney. And the vast majority of these, 13 out of the 16, are owned and operated by one corporation, which is Transurban. And the government had the audacity to tell me just a couple of weeks ago that no, that's not a monopoly. <laughs> That's just the way we do things in New South Wales. Yes, exactly right. Thanks, Lord Mayor. But you know, it is a monopoly. And these decisions have been made over the years, I have to say, by both Liberal National and Labour governments. I think what they actually need to acknowledge is that they have been absolutely wrong. They need to understand. They need to not pretend that toll roads are the solution to the traffic congestion problems that we are having. Because yes, we are having these problems. But till we keep pretending that this is the answer, we will never get anywhere. Mm. You know, they need to stop putting money into, into the coffers of tolling companies yes. and listen and think about the communities that they have been elected to represent. Yes. 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 And I have to say, being in New South Wales Parliament for four years now, and also being uh, a civil and environmental engineer, I can clearly see that the transport agenda in New South Wales is not an agenda to provide good transport for the community of New South Wales or Sydney. It is an agenda that is being led by a toxic mix of overdevelopment and privatization. And that's what we need to stop. We need to invest in genuine public transport solutions that are integrated, that are efficient, you know, that are reliable. And that actually work for the people of Sydney and the people of New South Wales, not private corporations, that are owned by the public yeah. and that are not owned by big private corporations who at the end of the day really want to make profit. They don't care about the service that they provide to the community. So the Greens have been standing with you from day one and we will continue to stand with you to make sure that this monstrous motorway, this motorway madness, ends in Sydney and in New South Wales. 
thank you so much for your courage and your commitment.